everybody we are back with some more commentary uh this was at a locals that was done a couple days ago at dean's dugout in naperville uh we will have a total of three rounds uh we will have the first two rounds uploaded we may upload the third round a bit separately depending on our schedules but that one will have rio commentating as well since he was in the video so be on the lookout for that he had a spicy build going on so he wanted to be a part of it but round one is here, and we have Jarrell playing Dragon Links. Mm -hmm. And we've got Dante on the right playing Yellow Hybrid. So interesting matchup here. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Let us know how we can make this series better for you. We're glad that everybody's been enjoying it so far. So hopefully you enjoy this set. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So uh, as a little note here, too, um, Jarrell has not touched Dragon Links since, I think, EX3. <laughs> Uh, and Dante is someone newer to the shop. Uh, he's, he's really nice. He's really cool. Um, but uh, he hasn't played since like BT7 when he played Yellow Hybrid a little bit. Mm. So he came okay. back and he made some adjustments. Um, and But a little bit of this is both of them trying to like sort of warm back up. Um, so you can see uh, Jarrell is explaining the mulligan system to him because Dante, like I said, is, he's just going back into all this. So he's still figuring it out. So they're still trying to get their hands sorted. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see his yellow hybrid build. Um, yeah. he had some pretty decent games from what I saw. Um, but admittedly, I, I got a, I got a root for for editor, our editor boy. Uh, one those sleeves from editor boy are quite nice. yes, yes. Very, the sleeves very add to it also, but Dragon Links is like one of my favorite decks. I love it. So Jarrell's gonna start us off. He's gonna go into Jazzermon in the back mm -hmm. there. Um, and he's gonna go ahead and. Consider what he wants to do. He's debating on playing the level four. He just opts down to just digital stone in the back. Oh, okay, okay. Was it uh, Xiao Man? Yeah, Xiao Man yeah, yeah, from BT4. That, uh, yeah, it gives retail, I believe, if there's ten or more mm -hmm. cards in trash. Yep, yep. And Dante goes plays out a oh a blanking on that guy's name. Neemon? Uh, uh, Neemon, yes. Yeah, yeah let's play out a tamer. Plays a Zoe. Um, does not have any hits, unfortunately. They're all just giving a friendly reminder to shuffle. And yeah. Nothing intentional on Dante's part. Just, again, just refreshing himself on the game. If, if you've been yeah, out of the game for a while, stuff. it's definitely. And Drell, with a really a quick turn, just drops the hero. Just drops the hero. There's yeah. just. I mean, the thing with Dragon Links, what it's really fun, but you're so reliant on seeing your Hina, mm -hmm. so you're kind of just stuck waiting most of the time, unless you want to on play a bunch of memory. Which right now there's nothing Jarrell could like play that would really affect the game state too much, uh, so there's no reason for him to do that. Dante uh, goes ahead and plays a TK to search security, pick up a yellow card. He chooses to pick up TK um, again and passes Jarrell over, so Jarrell will end up starting the turn at three. Uh, due to hero's memory setting, and he decides to push up, goes into his level five. Yeah. And then goes ooh straight into the top end. Yep. So he goes all the way from Je uh, Jezerichmon up to Metallic Dramon, repping that awesome alt art. Um, which uh, since Metallic Dramon just went ahead and did evolve like that, uh, he doesn't get anything else. He just has blocker and reboot. Because uh, he has a Tamer in play, but that's about it. The on play effect doesn't do anything because he doesn't have Hina to activate it as a Winded Evolving effect. Mm. Okay. So then Dante goes ahead and plays a Boko to look at top five. He's able to pick yep. up a Hybrid and a Tamer. You yep. can definitely pick up the TK Kari, which is a great card for Yellow Hybrid. And he go elects to pick up a Kaze. Bottom mm. deck in a Rise Gray and a Kazuchi. Kazuchi well as a, is a uh, card I have not seen in a long time. Effort. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure most Dante's cards are just BT7 cards for the most part, or or, or uh, earlier. Um, and then does Digi for two, think he's going to pass the one, but then Jarrell just reminds him that Boko goes ahead and gives him two memory back when he digivolves over a Tamer. So now Dante's trying to consider what he wants to do because he had the, I think he had the mindset of choking to one. I don't think he was considering the memory setter on Jarrell's okay. side. Um, goes into a goes Zephyr. Yeah. Tapakaze for one. Probably just for more cycle. 
Um, he's looking at that jet selfie. He's he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Reading and does decide to commit there. to it? Yeah. We'll put Jarrell tentatively to one, but Hero will bump him up to three. Yeah. Cover one, and then from there. And Jarrell's just using that dice to remind himself how much bigger security is, so he knows when he swings. So right now, mm -hmm. as long as that stack is out there after digivolving into Zephyr and having the Zoe inheritable, everything in security is plus six. Uh, oh. Jarrell running that auto to try and grab a Tamer, but just reveals nothing but Digimon, so. That's all gone. No Hina. Now, is Agu any tamer, or does it have to be a red tamer? It's any tamer. Any tamer. Okay. He just grabs, uh, reveals top five, and grabs a tamer card. Um, Oof. Oh, there's a Hina for him. Oh, well, there's two Hinas. You can grab. I only grab one of them, though. You can grab the Jazzermon there. I believe that is fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think level four is restricted. I think they just grab a dragon. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah, they would grab Rock, Earth, Bird, Machine, or Sky Dragon and traits, and then one Hina. Yeah, so Jarrell's getting some pieces in. You know, I think early it was a little bit hard missing his stuff. As you could probably see, his hand was kind of clunked with, like, an option, two top ends. So yeah, slowly digging and picking up pieces where he can. Right now, the, I mean, both boards are pretty wide. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Oops, evolve over TK into Kaze. I'm going to gain two memory back because of the Boko, which makes sense. Trying to consider what he wants to do. He's clumped up with tamers, it looks like. Yeah, he's got a lot of tamers in hand. He does have that Kazuchi. Might not be a which, bad play. Uh, Get some aggression going. He's at four memory. I don't remember. What's what's Kazuchi's stuff again? Well, he would it's digivolve like... for five. But right. since he has more than three security, it should just be a three cost digi. Right, or like okay. he gains two, I guess, in theory, right? But Yeah. If three or more gain two memories, and he goes check plus you. one as well. Since yeah, he's got three or more. So he's a big guy. And he plays out a oh, TK. But he opts not to swing, which is interesting. Uh, TK is going to and grab him back a card. Looks like he's got a bulk bond in there as well. Looks like he's running a combination of like some like Harrismon stuff. Yeah. As a Boutmon rather, um, Kazuchi and Yellow Hybrid. It's very, it's very interesting. It's very. Cool boxy. He I, he's definitely making do, I think, with just what he has. But I mean, hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. If it works. It works. Okay. This is something we're not used to seeing, particularly in today's meta. It's just like a wide board <laughs> like this, unless you're playing like yeah, Bloom or Yeah. This is very. Jess. This is very <laughs> slow paced. <laughs> Um, now, admittedly, I, I guess part of the reason he didn't swing is because he was worried about his uh, the DP. Yeah. Because uh, because the, the, uh, the, 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 the volcanic droid does have the um, so only blocker. one tamer though, so only one level. Of... Huh? Well, it's for every tamer and hybrid you have. Oh. I'm bored. Uh, but even then, I don't know how he popped three. Ooh. Okay. Multi flare. Pops both threes. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. For each Digimon with hybrid and traits, or each Tamer you haven't played, delete one of your mm -hmm. points level five or lower. Okay. So we should have only gotten two, right? Two there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, but now he's. I mean, he's in an okay spot. I mean, he's got five memory to work with. Even if he does yeah. choose to just set up, I think that's still okay. Particularly with like decks like Yellow Hybrid, you know you. You don't mind playing the slow game and send your tamers up, especially if you know like you're playing against a deck that's not Black War that'll just pop all your tamers. You know, Drell is probably not running things like Hades Force or anything that'll delete yeah. or suspend tamers. So, okay, so it looks like Drell realized that it should only be two, two Digimon, yeah. and they're, they're correcting it right now, so they're fixing that. Um, I don't know how the Kazuchi died. What did he do? Uh, ulti flare. He yeah. ulti flare, oh, he digivolved yeah. oh, by three, oh, oh, and then oh. popped. Gotcha. I looked away for a second because I was looking up Schwarz to, to reread the, <laughs> the effect again. Uh, Nemon. Nemon to play out yeah, a Zoe. Yeah. Goes ahead and security. searches security. It doesn't have any other hybrids in there. So just recovers, shuffles it, puts it back down. So he's in a bit of a pickle. He's having to try and figure out what he wants to do. 
That blocker with Volcanic Dramon is sort of uh, messing up, but it's a 13k blocker as well, so it's pretty big. It doesn't restand um, either, correct? Uh, this Volcanic Dramon has reboot. Oh, it does. Well, like, it yeah. can't block twice, though, right? No, no, no. It can't okay. block twice. It just blocks once. So sure. he could get one chip in if he wanted to, but it's kind of hard to really debate if it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, Ops is just going to Boutmon the mm -hmm. past turn. Well, just gonna start working on the stack sure. here. There's a Hina. And now he can start cooking a little bit. Taps Hero to give his top end plus 2k DP. Goes ahead, swings. It's a Gazi, so let's do that check. Another oh, Gazi, yeah, unfortunately. So, a little rough so, there. So, fun fact fun, fun fact he has the purple egg. Yeah. Apparently, he only runs four Gazi Ma. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's something. Um, well, he's now at three. He's got three bodies on board, a yellow or a reinforcing membu, so he potentially has six memory to work with. Um, elects to go into another Kaze on top of Zoe. Yeah. And so right now he has a he has four swings on board. Yeah. Goes into Zephyr for one. So now security. security is plus six nine k total. He has the reinforcing down below, so he could pop that before he goes into that uh, Seraphi if he wanted to, but he'll Ooh. opt not to. Interesting. Goes into the campaign rare from BT seven. Yeah. Seraphi Mon, which I forget what that does. It just recovers one. I'm pretty sure, mostly. Yeah. Uh, I'll check real quick, bro, right now, because I don't. I also don't remember very well off the top of my head. I think it was like a poor man's version of like the OG Seraphi. Like it recovers one, but I don't think it gave that sec plus check. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, when did you evolve? If you have a tamer in play, recover one, and then on deletion, recover one. So it's just okay. more focused on recovery. Sure. Um, which isn't bad because that means that if you know he swings and he gets blocked, he'll recover one, which is pretty good. Uh, more for dies in security, which is very viable to happen with it having 11k mm -hmm. DP. And I don't think the Bout Mine Inheritable is doing anything for it. Rel decides to swing, taps Hero to give plus 2k DP, uses effect to pop Nemon, um, and then checks twice. But ends up dying in security because <laughs> security is buffed 9k. Yeah. He's swinging into a yeah. 15k body. Very, very, very big security. Um. Jarello kind of has a lot of stuff to cook. He's debating on just dropping the volcanic. <laughs> he's, you see, he's doing the Jarell. So if anyone, if you see Jarell in videos, like in our podcast, all that stuff like that, or whenever he's like <laughs> the, the head bob too, he always does it. Um, he has this habit where you'll see him touch his chin and he'll just kind of he'll do the full thinker and he'll just be like, hmm. and, and that's like, when you know something's coming. Yeah. So he's explaining how the DG Evolve works. He can pop something with a play cost of five or less. So he pops the Kaze, and then the Boutmon's just chilling. Uh, he does give a lot of memory over to, uh, mm -hmm. to Dante. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of memory there. I think Dante's just thinking about what he wants to do now. I mean, he... I think... And this is not a knock on him by any means. Ooh. Schwartz to pop Schwartz. two bodies. Not bad. Not bad. Pops. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of control um, going on. Not a knock at all on Dante. I'm just like thinking, you know, maybe a little bit of just rust too. I, th I think some rust. I think he definitely should have been swinging earlier with some of his bodies. He I think swinging a little damage. earlier and then also like he's got a ton of like tamers and particularly TK Car. It sounds like he's got two in play like in hand right now. Yeah. You know, I think Ooh, knowing that Jarrell is going to be aggressive, just play those bad guys out. You know, yeah. get that memory creep when you can. Do do the yellow hybrid thing where you just wait for your opponent to pass you 10 memory, yeah. which admittedly Jarell almost did there, and then you just go for game. He's yeah. also had reinforcing sitting down there. If he was swinging a bit earlier or whatnot, um, probably could have game. And I think even Jarell made the comment to me mm -hmm. uh, that uh, Dante was uh, just a kind of a bit, like, maybe a little bit too scared to, to lose some of his bodies when... Yeah. He should have just been taking the risks. But we'll see how it goes. Does Which, play. I mean, like... Yeah. There you go. That's what you wanted. There you go. <laughs> Patches um. in the back. Girl's just setting up. Got a yeah, lot of stuff to cook with here. 
he he is out of eggs now. That is his last egg. So impressive. <laughs> that is something. This is it's definitely been a slower game. I will uh, say though, I think depending on like other games that you're playing, sometimes it's just that's sort of like it's hard to shake that mindset, you know? Yeah. And like definitely. get used to like what because I think Digi is a little bit different compared to a lot of like main TCGs in a sense. Like sort of the mindset's a little bit different with this whole memory system. Yeah, it's um, definitely a lot more of a, a tango, a dance. Yeah, yeah. There's a communication going on between you and your opponent constantly because of the memory system, which is what I love about it. Yeah. But it's definitely something that I like it can take some getting used to. Yeah. So he gains the memory off TK Kari. So he's playing with five, potentially eight memory, because he still has that reinforcing in the back. I think he's just sort of stuck with a ton of tamers and one rise gray. Well, and the, that's the other thing too, right? At this point, he's played a lot of his hybrids. He kept on just leaving them on board. Mm -hmm. He just was not uh, not really getting the aggression out of them that he should have been or could have been. Uh, is that a Zoe? So that's not, not too bad. Oh. It's Zoe, but it's just, it's just another Kari in there. The purple Kari from BT2, mm -hmm. I think, or BT3. Um, now he's trying to decide what to do. His hand is literally just clumped up with Tamers. He can't really do much. Yeah, and that's sort of the unfortunate thing with Yellow Hybrid and like hybrid decks in general too, is that if you're kind of stuck in that position, it's just, it feels bad. <laughs> and Jarrell has four swings here. Swings, oop, oh, it's a Kari. Now admittedly, that was very risky because if that had been a Schwarz, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dante would have had another turn. Um, I don't know if it really would have done much for him with his, where his hand was, but yeah. he would have had another turn. Um, so Jarrell's just sort of explaining how Hina works, I think, there. Just sort of telling him how like, it, she can make on-play effects when digivolving effects by suspending herself. And she can continuously like, suspend herself to, you know, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, if you have three Hinas on board and you digivolve into your any of your, you know, Lynx dragons that have their on-play effects, you can keep activating that on-play effect over and over and over again for the same digivolve. The window doesn't miss. Um, so you can do some crazy explosive plays. Utilizing Hina and with uh, with Volcanic Dramon or Metallic Dramon. Like you said, I mean, the deck is fun. The deck needs a little bit yeah. of setup and a little bit of time, but when it can pop off, like, it can do a lot of stuff. It's very controlling. It is a yeah. very, very good control deck with all the Digivolve and Deletion that it has. It can do a lot of work. Just a little bit too slow. Doesn't have protections that some of the more modern decks do nowadays. Um, doesn't have many ways to really like sort of gain memory for certain plays. It just sort of starts its turn with an amount of memory and utilizes the best utilizes that the best it can. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it it can still I think it can still show up here and there. Yeah, no, for sure. Jarrell did open his hand with a Hina, so. That's definitely a, a smart keep. That's that's usually the go-to. The second you see your Hina in hand, you're like, okay, this is this is what I'm gonna cook with. Yeah. It's <laughs> a very pretty card too. Like the colors on Hina, that alt art Hina, like pop oh, so yeah. nicely. Re uh, what was it? Redigitized? Was that the game? Yeah. What was that yeah. it was called? Something like that at least. It was a. Uh, it's a shame we can't get a good staying. Digimon game of the States, man. <laughs> or mobile game, I should say. Bring new Dante century over, goes dude. goes ahead and plays a Boko. Um, unfortunately, has two Seraphis that he's going to lose out on. And yeah, a Mima. No Tamers. No Tamers. can only decide between a Kaze and a Zephyr. Decides to pick up Kaze. Bottom decks the rest, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Pharrell is able to hatch and Digivolve into a Rookie. Plays Hina for three, of course. And oh, there's another Hina for three. Another Hina, yeah. He's just setting up. Because I mean, like, if he just if he does this right, he can get a lot of a lot of stuff going. Um, and Jarrell's a very smart player. I think he could see the way Dante was playing game one, and because sort of thinking he probably has a good amount of time to sort of just set up. Oh no, two of the four guys, he's in security. Yeah, it's rough. Does get the Bautman out, which is fine. Yeah. But to go back to your comment about bringing the game back to the States, I mean, we did get that announcement 
Something's happening in December. We do. That's we true. don't know what's happening, happening in December. But something's could happening. Be a, could be a digital client. Could be a new game announcement. Could just be another like novel thing like Seekers. Yeah. Uh, grab the Volcanic Jermon off the search there. It does not track. He's been playing too much Jessmon. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much Jessmon Red Hybrid. He's so quick to put things in trash. Uh, goes ahead and there's another four. And this is, I think, an illustration of what you were saying. You could just string along those, like, yeah. like evolving effects. So he was able to search eight and grab two, basically, which is huge. It's so much yeah. cycle. Uh, kind of wild. I mean, he already has two Hinas on board, so I guess it's not kind of wild. It makes sense. The other Hinas could be anywhere. Could be in security. Dante probably. goes into a Gazi in the back. Um, just There's kind of a rough selfie. spot for him, I think, because it sounds like he's just missing pieces in general like he's got a little bit of everything but not enough of what he needs yeah he's able to go into kaze essentially for free due to boko good old boko supporting thinking about going into rise gray it looks like does end up committing to rise gray which will allow him to play Bro. out a tamer nice plays out tk kari nice nice yeah at this point i feel like you swing but he decides to go and play zoe to search, able to pick up a Zephyr, I would assume. Yeah, I think that's the only one he can pick up. So and as then... it the hands, recovers one, shuffles. Nice. So pretty pretty decent turn. Um, I think not swinging is fine there. Uh, as long as he just sees, make sure he gets some aggression next turn, I think. I think he needs to start putting Jarell on the bubble. Because if he just if he lets Jarell just sit there and keep on just searching for pieces and drawing his cards, um, I mean if you just look at hand size from Jarell's hand size compared to, to Dante's, it's you know you see a lot. And so Jarell's gonna do his crazy thing here. So DJ Jarell's one. Then we can pop a play cost of five or less, and then pop some of the play cost of five or less. And then he uses, uh, yep. Just choose an organizer yeah. effect, so he does that. So it's like a matter of just sequencing his Hina's effects to kind of sequence the deletion and the digivolving correctly. But he's able to whiteboard, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Uh, able announcement so for see, two checks. Oof. Yep, because of the Jazz Rich Mom, which it survives. Okay. And then TK Kari. Not bad. So, I mean, it's good for Dante. It's a lot of memory for him to work with next turn. Yeah, yeah. And Jarell, I think, is now realized he's like, oh, I don't want to be given that much memory over. Does eventually choke Dante to one to start, and then TK Kari will push Dante up to five. How much memory? It's so great. Yeah. Pushes up Gazi. Um, just sort of get that get that rookie cycle going on a little bit. Dante just Weighing his options, trying to see what he can do here. Mm -hmm. Opts to go into a Zephyrmon over one of the TK Kari's. Um, interesting choice. I think I probably would have gone over the Zoe there. Kept yeah. the TK Kari for future turns just in case. Does have a Jet Selfie. Definitely thinking about it. Yeah. So Goes in the Jet for Selfie one. for one, recovers. Ooh, Which, you know. Something to note too, I gotta give Dante props for being gone for so long. People always forget to draw when digivolving, and I don't think he's forgotten really. I do it all the if time. If he has, I haven't I haven't noticed it. It's the same. I've I've done it too. <laughs> it's, it's a very hard mechanic to keep in your mind. Um but for coming back after being on a break since like BT seven era is insane to keep that 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 muscle memory. So props to him for that. Plays out a TK to give Jarrell two. Yeah. Grabs a, was a Kaze out of security, it looked like. Mm, yep. Just getting some more cycle. He is looking at that Susano. I think that's sort of where um, I think your point to like keep the TK Kari on board would have been nice, you know, because if you're looking at TK and then two TK Kari's, you're probably looking at seven memory minimum next turn. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. He would have been, uh, he would have been Gazi, sitting real good. Gazi, oh no. So those are two Gazis we saw earlier. Um, Dante trying to remind himself it looks like of Susano's effect. Susano's. Uh, well, gonna go ahead and go into Jazzerich. 
over the uh, the Vorvo or Vorva and the Vorva, whatever the freaking called. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all. You know, it's all matter of like Vorvo, Lavo, yeah. <laughs> Burrito, Gabodito, Burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Boruto? That doesn't exist. Oi, 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 oi. I'm gonna get us in trouble. Anyways, uh. Checking this trash. Yeah, as you guys can see, I mean, these are two decks that are very, like. Methodical in a sense because I think you you really have to, I think particularly like with dragon links to like your sequencing and being able to utilize what yeah little resources you're given because you really don't have much of a memory setter if you don't get your hero out on board you really have to like be mindful of what plays you're making I think yeah. Jarell is just explaining to Dante like what the effects were and why things played out the way that they did. Um, I do think Dante was fortunate enough, though, to get that TK card back after the D Digivolve. That was pretty nice mm -hmm. for him, because now he's able to go back to that 7 that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, he um, shoots up. And I think uh, it's a good point, too, at this point, to say, like, I think you're right about the Rise Grade. He probably should have swung with it earlier. That would have been when Aldra Held was a uh, yeah. Jazzerich before he got too far ahead. Now, staring down two Metallitras is uh, that was rough, man. I mean, they're drawing, they're drawing Jarell's cards. They have Reboot. They're, they both have uh, security tech plus two, or plus one rather, sorry. Both of them are 13k. They are not blockers though, correct? No, they are. Oh, they are. Yep, Metallic Jermon just is uh, during your opponent's oh. turn while you have a Tamer in play, this Digimon gains blocker and reboot. Uh, See so. a mad lad play and just hard plays a Kazuchi. Interesting. Yeah, I think he doesn't have enough cards and trash to do Susanu. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Short. <laughs> that doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Oh, that would have been nice, though. So, Jarell's just... This <laughs> guy. <laughs> this guy. He's always got to do it like this. Why has he got to be like, oh, my Oh, goodness. no. I just oh, saw what no. was in his hand. No. Don't do him like that. He's learning. He's learning. He's got to get new. He's doing the, the, this is... So, Jarell told me. He looked me dead in the face, and he was just like, so you're going to have an interesting match to commentate. And I was like... Yeah. So door really bricks like, for yeah. three. So for those who don't know door bricks effect, you can digicross using five dinosaurian yada yada. Dinosaurs, cerato uh five cards that have dragon, dino, or ceratopsian in traits. Um, um, and for each one you do, you reduce the play cost by two, yeah, so you can make it a Ragnar three cost Lords. to play, and then he ragnas by digi DNA digivolving. Allows him to trash potentially up to, I believe it'd be like two security. Because he's got, for every four, you trash one, you trash two, oh, and then he has blitz. That, that guy. <laughs> but Dante, Dante's a good sport. <laughs> even, if, even if it was a bit of BM from Jarrell. Uh, <laughs> if, I, if, if I was Dante there, I would have reached over and just hit stop recording. <laughs> I would have I stopped it. The second the Dorbic hit the board, I would have been like, you already won, bro. <laughs> end, the, end the match. <laughs> we got places to go. Let's go to the next round. <laughs> I I can't look at Dorbic. I just stop. I stop playing when I see Dorbic. <laughs> uh, but, you know, pretty 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 interesting match. Very bit a bit of a slog, a bit of a bit of a slower one there, but uh, still good showing from both players. I think it's, yeah. you know, you get to see a little bit of what Dragon Links can do. It's a very fun deck. Mm -hmm. And you get to see what Yellow Hybrid can do is sometimes. Um, but I mean, shout and, out to Dante too. I mean, he, like you said, he's working with what he's got to come out yeah, to like a BT been, 13 locals and play a BT 7 a, deck. He basically, play, like, it's been like half the lifespan of the game. Yeah. <laughs> pretty yeah. much. It's been but, six sets. But hey, I mean, if he's going to come back, great. You know, we'll be seeing more of him for sure. And it'll be yeah. good to get some more players involved. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Agreed. Uh, but that was round one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be moving on to round two very shortly. Um, and we'll see you over there. Bye, guys. Bye.